Right. Okay. What? We got life. Hello, welcome. Right. Ah, it does work. Cool. Stupid Strider. I love this game. <laughs> Capcom Classic, I would say this game was. It's a messy game. But it just worked for some reason. But Osmond didn't quite work as good. Alright, great. Pull it straight away. It's hard. Skip the boss. Don't do that very often. That was meant to be a jump sideways. So again, hit actually, but do it the old fashioned way. I don't know, I love the speech of this game, I don't know why. Never leave your I got you. Air I built. Strider can be a little bit janky sometimes. Like that. Did I want to fall off here? Stop playing game. What I want to do is just grab on there, that's it. That's what I wanted, put the L. I don't get out yet. Way, but not the ideal way of doing it. I'm gonna get it. No, I'm right. This game is very RNG. 
be pretty random at times. Come on, I'm gonna die otherwise. I need to get up top. Oh, great. No more bombs, please, if you can't uh, miss me. Okay, cool. <laughs> you twat. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. A bit you can be hard sometimes because of the randomness of it. What do you say, Bill? Yeah, good evening, mate. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I thought uh, end of the month, isn't it? It's, I was going to buy the collector's version of it, but I looked at it, it was like 170 quid, and you only had two games. So I was just like, nah, this, I didn't bother in the end, because I just thought it was a bit too much for what it was. Yes, it's an upgraded version of Davius Burst, and um, an upgraded version of um, Davius Gate, not Davius Gate, what's it called, uh, G Davius. Looks rather nice. I'll probably end up buying it on the PlayStation, I expect. No me, loves a bit of Darius. I don't think they've added that much to, um, to Darius Burst, though. As far as I'm aware. That was unfortunate, I got it today. I'm going to do the, uh, we beat her from. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing, the collection's like the other collection, same sort of thing, you get a book and a CD and everything. Um, but the other collection was way better value for money, I think, with all the games you had, but this one's only two, so... Mm. I'll just get it digitally if I get it. I bet it'll be expensive as well. As Daria seems to seems to sort of demand a high price for some reason. That was Andy jumping, wasn't it? I didn't uh, fall off by there then because I was uh diddle diddle diddle. I need more practice on the last level of this game. I'm out of practice on it. It's usually my stumbling block. The upside down bit.
A joystick is quite handy for this game. For the bashing. Capcom Defy sort of created a classic with this. Fight me. The Emperor. Can get this power up, don't you? But it's a bit awkward. I'm going to skip it. Jow, Fugabik. Um, you always get the change of controls wrong today. Pain the ass. Ah, should have got up on the um on the vines. You can go up there. It's a bit safer. Oh, God, I'm making a fucking. I'm making this look hard, mate. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going for that power up. Let's go for the power up. Ah, oh, buddy, hit me off. Right, I'm gonna die again now, aren't I? <sighs> that was invincibility end as well. Oh god, I'm making this look bad. Oh, I'll put it off. Made a picture of that. I did. How's it going? That was terrible then. Yeah, come on, dying soldiers for yet. Hey, hello. Oh yeah, Volgar the Viking. That's uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, you die a lot in that game. I've played it a little bit. It's, it's pretty hard. I'm gonna really learn every level on it. Right, I died a few times, which is a bit shit. Right, I'm going for the sword, and I'm going for that. Ah oh, damn, I thought they had ball from then. Obviously not. Right, this upside down bit is the bit that tends to get me. I do know how to do it, but it can be it can be quite tricky, especially when that's there, that's gonna make it really hard. Right, 
Right, gotta kill that really. Damn, nah, missed the jump. Gotta jump well, well before the edge on there. Good. Gonna make it hard now. A couple of credits in. Always a level that lets me down. I right, just run this then, should we? Jump too far. You can slowly go through this bit, but it's a pain in the ass. Should run. Ah, oh, damn. That's it. We could be here a while. I need to get better at this bit. Right. We'll run down there. Jump off there. Just the jump. Yeah, I've played that Volgar a little bit. I've got it on my Steam account. It's quite cheap as well, isn't it? Let's just go for it. Stop running. Ah. Come on, this bit's easy. I don't even have to wait for that. I could just run it. Oh, now I'm screwed. Yep. I don't want to take my time into it. Right, okay. I'm going to have to take my time now. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I know you're doing lasers. It's, it's great. Damn. Almost. I jumped on the spike. You're going to do it. How was that one today? Had a good day? <laughs> oh god, come on. I don't have to do this the intended way. This thing hit me. Great. <sighs> okay. Fast strap set. I press the button. <laughs> I'm gonna do with the fast way. Look at it. Maybe I'm not going to do it the fast way. Ah, come on, this bit's not so hard. <sighs> okay then. Maybe I'll try and do it the intended way. I can't remember what to do now. It's been so so long. I 
least intended way. I like the jumpy way, we'll jump through it. Actually, right, we'll be there now. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's not good though if your shoulders hurt now. Ooh, that's weird. Go by killing this thing because I'm screwed up, boys. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, it pauses then. Come on, die. Ah, damn, I'm dead. Come on, I'm dead again. Bit of luck, we have to jump again. Get some extra hits in on it. That's not what I want to do. Ooh, I'm outside. The hell? I'm dead. <laughs> Straight down the hole. Great. Yeah, why not, me? Again, probably. I'm okay. Yeah, the mice is pretty nice. Come on, come down. Like I said Strider is a bit janky. Brilliant game, but it's, it is janky. God, I can't, I can't kill him. Yep. This end bit I need more practice on. <laughs> but at least I've long been there, I think. Right, okay. Hmm. 
behind it's probably not a good place to be. Oh, that's a really not a good place to be. Right, time that really shit. God, he's right with us. He's right by me. Get out of here. Oh shit, have I got to kill? Why did he slide off? You bastard. Let's just hope I don't fall off this. Sons of all gods die. Need to get better at the arse end of this game. Up until the last hour, I can usually do it pretty easy. Right, we made it. I think we made it. Oh god, you gotta kill it, haven't you? Oh, come on. Die. Uh, one elf. And I just jumped off by accident. I got no lives left. Right, he's dying this time. to continue right at the end then, do I? <laughs> Cadwallader. Uh, they had something to do with Strider then. That's quite interesting. This Cadwallader Games did... Um, they've done quite a lot of stuff, actually. I'm sure they had something to do with Darius Burst as well. Yeah, I definitely gotta get better at the end of this. Should have kept my arcade board. It's probably worth a fortune now. <laughs> Hindsight, eh? Eh? Oh, I put my name in. Actually, it doesn't keep any of the actual scores. How is that? Okay, we'll have to get more practice on that. Uh, what should we go off? Um. All oh, right, mate. How's it going? Yeah, it's not bad actually. It's I don't think it's as good as the arcade one, mine, to be honest. But I quite enjoyed it. The one thing I will say about it, though, it's not its not the type of game that you can put on and play for hours and hours and hours. I think, like, maybe an hour or two burst on it is probably about enough. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, we'll go find the fight. Yeah, I should make another one, because um, it was pretty decent. 
They bought that straight away when it first came out. Had to be done. Right, I may need to do my buttons. Right, I have that done. Not quite poor. Okay. Save that. Game I'm not particularly great at final fight. Say score on beam ups are not really my thing, but this game of auto fire is really good. The enemies on this are cunning as hell. I haven't quite figured out the infinite punch either. Wanted to get him with a kick. Quite like getting him with the um, the knee over kick. Like a Yeah, you should make another straight there, I reckon. Remember to do that um, spin room kick instead of getting hit. Give me a turkey or some ham. Hardly ever managed to do this without um, using the credit. Oh, there's a life sign, no credit. Ah, oh, damn, she slapped me. I'm the one it as well. on this, I think. Very long end. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I can get past the um, I can get past the police officer, officer boss. Get past um, oh, what's his name? The guy in the sam uh, samurai armor. If I'm lucky. To do this game on one credit is uh, is hard. Let's 
Ich weiß nicht. This is a Capcom classic, right? It's not my favorite Capcom beat, but mine I have to say. One more hit and they're done with his life. Hey! Yeah. Find that attitude sometimes. <laughs> Game is definitely it's, it's it's about managing the enemies. Come on, jump out of the city. Trap. Just walk into my fist. That's the way. Right, it's a bit further than last thing. Remember, as soon as you get hit, you're better off just doing the bloody move. I never made a modern remake of this sort, did they? They tried to. It just didn't work out. Do I time it out at the end or do I kill the boss? That's the question. Thank you. 
walk into my fist. Try to time it out. Look at it, it's just time it out. Definitely playing the surfaces. <laughs> yeah. Some crap on my floor. Yeah, they made a 3D sort of um, sequel to this, didn't they? And then they called it Street something. It was a bit crabby. I should just fight them maybe instead of trying to wear. Play me out. Now I start the timing out, I may as well finish. I think this is the only place in the game we can actually do this. Now, even though I could do. Almost done. That's it, here we go. <laughs> Cheesy way of doing it. Guy blocks could be a bit of a pain in the ass, right? Step here. Use the barrel as a safe spot, I think it works. with the power to get the food. Right. Can trap this guy in the corner. I'll try it out. Oh, I missed it. I think. Yep. Ah, you can't trap him in the corner. You got to time it right though. Hard game. So one more go. I do the uh,
do 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 We often get a pipe in there. Still alive. Come on, Bill. Give me a sword. Oh, yeah. the fire. I uh, do find it quite hard to uh, do that without losing a life. Yeah, the continuous screen is cool, isn't it? We're just trying to cut this guy open. He's on our saw table, isn't he? Shame that never got converted to the uh, Mega Drive. We talk about it, like I think there's a, an official unfinished ROM out there. Yes, right. He's got like some weird sort of like he got some like some weird snake or some sort of weird like creature around him or something. And he's trapped on there. playing nice. Same beer. Nope. Yeah, the arcade ninja game is a game I haven't played for a long, long, long time.
There you go, the diamond, yep, yeah, one of the diamond. Or ruby or whatever it was. I oh, want ruby. Sapphire. Get it in the end. This game takes silly practice to uh, be able to finish it on uh, one credit. Stay here because I'm safe. At least we should be safe anyway. Can I get Sodom in the corner now? I can't remember the timing for it. Ah, um, we got a quick end. Ah. We died. Uh, what should we have a go of? Right, what was I playing earlier? Mm. Oh, console. Let's go. And yes. Still want to try and beat Scat, but it gets uh, gets quite tricky later on. I need to sort this folder out as well. I think there's one or two Japanese games in here. Too far. Let's play some special crap. Yet. Quite a nice speech beer for an end, yes. You must destroy them. The earth is counting on you. Good luck. I probably took up all the memory on the cartridge I did. Yeah, so I managed to finish this yet. I had a bit of a hankering to play um, Forgotten Worlds earlier. This sort of satisfied a bit of that itch. Sort of uh, like Forgotten Worlds, essentially. Not as good, I don't think, but. to me.
Because I've worked out what the energy ones to get back. It's the R that gives you the energy back, so uh, the only problem is they don't turn up very often. We have a good plan, this boss. They pull the weapons like that. You gotta watch out for the balls because they um so it shoots first. Definitely a quicker way of doing it, that is. That's it, but so shown by demons. Laser up, laser is pretty crappy. Well, it's not crappy, but it's the lowest powered weapon. Shit, no one playing stupid. The weapon's powerful, but it um, doesn't shoot fast enough. Dodge your missiles, not try and collect them. Tide is going to come from. Right, I got it once, that's pretty good.
right, this level's a bit of a pain in the ass. Especially if I mess up and um, change my weapon by accident. It's not good if you do a... Well, it's best to have these orbs below and above, and above you for this level. Seems to work out the best. Laser's not too bad on this level, actually, but the one I don't want is uh, the bomb weapon. Gives you loads of them later on in the game, but I just do not want to pick one up. That was pretty long as well. Didn't really need to pick that up. Certainly pick one up with it. Was tempted to put the um, the classic on, play some MSX games. I might play one later. Very, very long level this one. wise mind. If 
they don't move, hopefully it'll say do not. Yeah, you can change you you can change them. You can't lock your the, your guy. He pretty much moves all over the place. No, I never owned an S back in the day either. Yeah, your guy always turns, which is, it would be quite nice if you could actually lock him in position. Forget you gotta take the pods out in this level. Right, here we go. <laughs> There's a couple of these gun turns you can't actually kill. I found quite a good way of taking the big uh, gun turrets out as well. Basically, you can basically get right close to them for your door right in front inside them and they die basically. Straight away. Do not want to click that. I don't think you get any energy back in this level either. Just way of killing them. Ah, got killed, Angus is in fire. in the wrong place then. I don't think you get any energy on this level. When I'm dead basically.
I've got to look out for bloody gun towers again now, haven't I? Ah, shit. I knew it as soon as I'd gone forward then. Well, um. Should I continue? Oh, go on. A bit more practice on this level. This level's quite big, man. It was a bit of a mistake again. Maybe I'll try keeping the laser for a change. I think the white firing does help to kill some enemies. Hang on, battery's getting low. Um, probably, as long as they're USB. Yeah, I can't see why not. It pretty much seems to pick up anything USB. Yeah, it might be interesting. I bet they probably would. Oh god, that was silly. Why did I do that far? Yeah, as far as I know, pretty much most, you know, most things USB seem to work on you, so... I don't know whether he uses like a generic driver or something. Why the hell is not killing this? What the hell's going on? Ah. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it might be interesting. You'd probably get a rotary stick for this, uh, rotary arcade games. Some way use some way of automatically using twin sticks on uh, rotary arcade games would be cool. And games like Midnight Resistance would be pretty fantastic. Right, I'm not doing a bit crabby now, aren't I? God, and now I'm doing rubbish. was the problem when they had um, I mean, like resistance arcade board. Uh, I couldn't get a rotary thing through. It was, I had it back, you, you know, years ago. Like, but oh well, that was working. Okay, that's weird. That stopped working. See, it's working now. I do like uh, Midnight Resistance. Pretty wicked arcade game. I will say the Mega Drive version though is rather good. Uh, 
see, this weapon is powerful, but it's, it's no good at shooting things, which <laughs> makes it a bit crappy for a weapon, really, isn't it? Look at it again. Weird why sometimes that works and then sometimes it doesn't. Give up now for now. Um, right. Can't be a Sunday while playing some MSX. It's a Sunday thing. So MSX is a little bit more complicated to run on you than it is on the Classic. And the Classic is easy, and you just pick your, pick your ROM off your go. Like, but unfortunately, half those games you can't start on the Classic. Well, not half of them, but there's a lot of them that you can't start, unfortunately. Including Snatcher, which I don't think is on you. It's weird. This this uses like an image. It's like a hard drive, a VH, VH something image. And all the games are embedded within that image. So, I don't know. It would be interesting to see if I could make my own image. A VHD. So, what I should do should have restarted in and booted that image up automatically. Now right, here we go. It does support all the extra chips and everything, which is cool. Um yeah, so when you go into it now, you've got to go into you got your ROMs, cassettes and discs. Discs you've got to mount to a drive. I was working that out the other night. What's in the alternative? Uh, try K. Yes, Kings Valley. It's Kings Valley 2 is good. I haven't got the other Kings Valley today. Oh, part 2 is good. So they're all in sort of like uh, zipped up format. So what have we got? Uh, professional Mahjong. So basically, you have to you have to open it up and check it on. So uh, if I go over to a, Leste doesn't have a Leste two though. I'm sure Leste two is on you. Yeah? Ash green, <sighs> tempted. Wouldn't mind going for that again. Yes, yeah, so you get the idea. You go in. It would be handy if they were all unzipped. The Korean made games. Kiki Kikai. Oh, yeah, it's pretty crappy on you. I think we played that, haven't we? If I go back and if I do um, show the. Yeah, Super Laydock, Laydock 2, I think they're shmups. I think. I know the MK games are on you, yeah, but I can't remember exactly where they are. Um, I want to find them because there's some other shoot webs on there as well. Right, so uh, I'm sure it was MSX2. Uh, discs, maybe. Alternatives. No. They're on like a little folder on their own. Discs. Oh, you are. Pleasure Dome. I think 
think that's the other shoot -em up that he did. I think. Uh, I think you've got to write it to the A. It's going to be a while to figure that out, do we? Okay. You need a keyboard for this as well. You gotta write it to um you gotta write it to the floppy drive and then do it for me. Yeah, rotary stick would be interesting. This is a game we did before Pleasure Heart, which I haven't really played properly. The time attack adventure. I had a quick go over it, it looked pretty good. Pretty much for you now, isn't it? Ah, that's a five in from Pleasure. Let's go for that one. Ah, right. Well, how do I set this to? That's the question. Um. How the hell do I do this? <laughs> uh, maybe I can't. Space? No. Just wonder if there's a button on the keyboard that does it. Ah. Uh. There must be a way of mounting that second disc. Hmm. I could have destroyed my hopes then. Set after mount, no. So we disc internal mapper, joystick. Disc swap, no. Hmm. Reset it. How the hell do you swap discs? See, this is a uh, learning experience. Let's try it again. So go in there and I go into uh, definitely not in ROM. Let's see if it is. Uh, see if there is a ROM of it. Uh, no. Okay. I wish you could just put the ROMs on you and play them. I think that would be a better idea. Discs. Right, okay. So, according to that, there's only one disc anyway. Yeah. Right, hang on it. My uh, mini keyboard has died. If it's not working, I've got something else. So they just charge this keyboard a second. Now I know where the flashing light is. It's not a battery light, but. Settings, auto disk swap, is that on you? Palette mode for setting, disk write enable, disk delay, memory dump. Yeah, no. Probably gonna run into the same problem now. Game does look pretty good as well. This is 
Is it going to ask to swap discs? Nah. Damn. That's a shame. That is a shame. Right, if we can't do MS, we can't play that. Let's play Shmup on the MS X. On the uh, Sharp X68000. It is a nice Shmups folder on this as well. Right, so basically, what we want is HDs, floppies, uh, sorry, hard drive images. Actually, wrong, wrong ones. Uh, why didn't that work? Best collection? No. No. Hard disk images. Ah, uh, floppy. So hang on, one second. Floppy one. This one's not too bad to work actually. Shmups then. So what have we got in here? There's quite a lot of nice games in here. I'm not quite sure where I'm from. Are. I know that's good. Sure, and show pretty excellent. Actually, let's have a go at that. Once you put a disc on it, you uh, do a restart. <laughs> at least you can do all this on the pad. You do a restart and it loads in. It is not an option to make the disk drive actually load quicker. It loads pretty much like a normal disk drive. I should get for more accuracy, I suppose. I think that this core, um, it works and it, it runs fantastic. This core does; it's really good. But the sound is not right. It's missing a couple of channels in the sound. It's not perfect. This 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 core needs a bit of work, I think. The good thing about it is it runs pretty amazing. It runs better than any of the uh, emulators I've ever come across. This is definitely uh, missing. Uh, it's missing some of the uh, music tracks. Come on. See, this is where the uh, PS Mini is faster. Not so accurate, but it's faster getting into the games. Come on, load in. Speed load in, that's what we want. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, for some reason, show wrench art goes over the one side of the screen. I'm not entirely sure why, but we'll just go with it. Say so it runs fantastic, just the sound is not quite right. Uh oh, so I've done that. Um there is a bit to stretch the screen a little bit. I can't remember which one does it. Ah. A more widescreen version. Uh let's go for that one. Shot A, shot B. Oh, it's not stretched. Ah, okay. Not exactly what I wanted. Hang on, let me die a minute. Yeah, is there anything wrong with it? This core runs fantastic. It's just... Sound is not right. I don't know how old this core is, either. I know there's a PC-98 core as well. Yeah, it's definitely not right. Right, config. Right, 
you we go in. Eh? Eh? What's Why is this still sideways? Even though the scores are there, it up the top. Why well, needs a date? Right. Right, I don't know what's going on here, that's bizarre. vertical off. That's probably what's going on. Right. Now we'll have... Now we'll have the widescreen. Right. Hopefully that's going to be the right way around. Please be the right way around. Hey. Yeah, it runs really good, but it needs to work on the sound. we work on the sound on this emulator, and it'd be fantastic. Screen does look a bit stretched, wind. Maybe I stretch it a bit too much. Oh well. I'm gonna go for power up. You can get in the middle of those power ups and collect all three of them at the same time, which is a bit tricky to do. I just Castlevania on there the other night. It runs great. Same thing with the sound. I'm trying to get in the middle of it then. Solid to get in the middle of it when all the stuff is going on. If I can get the bosses to kill each other. Nope. Quite a tricky trick, if that makes any sense, to get going on. this was actually a free game as well. Music's way off. I'll post the sound like It's a little bit of a shame though that the sound is off a bit because the, the emulator is really good. Well, the core, not the emulator. Should be collecting the power up actually.
I'll have to have a look at the development of the uh, X68000 core, see if anyone's actually working on it. I've got the um, CPS2 core on here as well. Only does one game at the moment, but I've got it on here if anyone wants to have a look at it. Damn, I forgot about that. Shit. Blow that up, bomb it. is to, uh, pretty tough. <sighs> Not quite the same, but the decent music, I got a bit. BGM Vertical <laughs> So CPS core seems to work quite nice CPS 2 It only plays um, Super Puzzle Fighter X at the moment in the middle of it then. You know the sound effects sound good, all right. I hope we do some work in this core because there's um, a lot of class games on this machine. Definitely games I wouldn't mind sort of getting into. That should be a boss in a second. Yeah, that would be really nice. That's coming, I think. I forgot about Pro Gear on CPS too. I like Pro Gear as well, it's a good game. how long our core's going to take to come out but he, he seems to have done some pretty amazing work on it so far and from what I'm, from what I'm pretty aware of his work he's done before he's pretty damn fast I know people are bugging him to release cores already I just hope he doesn't get pissed off at the uh, idiots in the community they're basically not willing to wait and keep annoying him to get cores out
It's gonna be great for he's doing the course like at the end of the day. Like he's not doing it for any profit or anything. Everyone's getting the benefit of it, so some people just gotta to learn to wait, I suppose. But hopefully he, had, he doesn't get pissed off by that. I noticed loads of people are bugging him on Twitter and stuff to get the calls out fast. To be honest, the calls are good enough. I, I, you know, I'd pay him for the calls if I had to. Can't fault him again for free, mine, but you know. I know you can join his uh, patron and pay £3 odd a month towards his patron and then you get all the beaters of all the cores he's doing. He's a very talented guy. Couldn't stay in here then. Unless you got risking getting in and killing things as fast as possible like that. Whew. Just hope you can get out of the way. That's it. Really cool game, Mrs. If you ever get a chance to give it a try, definitely give it a go. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Might even join his Patreon, actually. My mate sent me the... Um, he joined his Patreon. He sent me the uh, call. I might even join his Patreon, because it's definitely worth it. Oh, damn, got caught. Um. Yeah, Dai Shampoo, that'd be wicked. Yeah, I forgot about that as well. That's the last buddy on there as well. That's a nice game. Yeah, I don't reckon he'll take too long either. Apparently he's delaying it at the moment because um, he wants to get the cue sound right. You want to do a little bit more investigation into the Q sound, so I think he's pretty much got it working, like, but. I'll, tell you, I'll show you, I'll check it on. So it's like my mate sent me the call, basically, that's the only way I could try it. Jet. He's in the wrong position then. You gotta watch them, they turn sideways as well. Sometimes they do. Yeah, people should stop bugging him like and just just be patient. He's obviously spending a hell of a lot of time making these calls. Blew up just for us to hit me. Bloody hell. <sighs> right, I'll show you the core now. Um, need to get the sound sorted on there. I have to do a restart. Oh no, it won't. Capcom. Capcom. At the moment, it just runs this. I like this game, but there's, there's one fault this game has got. 
and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. All you do, you get a diamond drop after 25 drops, I think it is, to get rid of all the one colour. So all you do, basically, is just keep keep building down, no matter where the hell you put them. this out on the bloody um right. so basically you get rid of a colour and then you'll get shitloads of multi drops. If you're lucky you'll get loads of them and then fill the screen up on the other side. Just gonna drop a load on the screen now. And you can essentially do that again to the next multi drop. play it properly like we're trying to do the uh, multi drops yeah, I got the multi drop again now so if I get rid of uh, let's go for green or blue Didn't try it all out. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth paying for the cores because uh, you know how much money would you pay for the arcade boards? Like ridiculous. I do like this game. It's quite fun when you play it properly. <laughs> you actually use your head a little bit. Let's go check shitloads on the other side, that is. She's dead. This game is definitely better than columns. Diamond going. shortly. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot the twist there. No, I won. Ooh, that was lucky. Um, ah, oh, damn, I need that green to go over that side. some trouble on the other side. I know it counted it. Um, okay. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Yeah, damn right. It's any of these games, you know. <laughs> these are character I normally use. They do have different tile sets. Hey, Blue Oak, how's it going, mate? Welcome to the room. Yeah, it's definitely working. It's definitely working. You know, the guy's putting a lot of effort in. He's essentially getting nothing in return. That diamond turned up now, don't I? Um, yeah, that was gonna have to be. He's a green one. Big potential dropping those on me. Just, oh god, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, I'm recovering from that. I <laughs> fell asleep too. Nice. Try, try cheesy tactics. Let's go for the cheese tactics. Those 
diamonds are going to be quite painful if he manages to burst them. Oh bugger, we're in trouble now. Cheesy tactics didn't work. Might have to try and play properly. Blue down there, hope you put a green down there. Rose kick a mass. Yeah, so the call run's quite nice. It's got a little bit of slowdown here there, so I don't know whether that's that's inherent to the original arcade board of this. We've got that turbo mode, so you can get rid of it. Does those diamonds or so. oh, dear he goes. Oh shit. Um. 
Oh, I need the blue one now. Red. Come on, give me a green. All I want is a green. Nice, got it. Quite a good two-player game this is as well. I'm assuming this probably was the easiest game to run out of the old um, CPS2 stuff. As a proof of concept that it works, I suppose. The good thing, didn't have to do anything about the ROM. Just uh, check the core on you, run the update, and it just went and downloaded the ROM for me. Should have moved that across one. Uh, let's take out yellow. Diamonds, I'm in trouble. Okay. Alright, let's set that up there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hopefully, that green one will have time to go off. Slightly different sets, see. Sure, I can. Set up there. Under there. Um, 
Right, that should take the yellow. Oh, that was up. That took the yellows out as well then. Come on, can I get um, yellow before you... Ooh, got him. You know you're getting older, you're falling asleep watching stuff. I haven't done that for ages, actually. I'm usually sort of slightly falling asleep when I'm playing stuff. Yeah, but this core seems uh, rather nice. for that on top of the green one. Yeah, check it out. build up a massive chain. All I need is green now. Right, that's gonna blow up as soon as that's in our third one. Awesome. One more. Dead, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Definitely not dead. I think I should put it down on the left hand side. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be quite interesting. It's like my mate was, my mate was saying um, today, he said it's almost like the, uh, back in the days when emulation just started again and you were waiting for it to get better and better in the early days of meme. <laughs> it's always, almost like having that back. I think in the three years the mist has been out, it's got to where it is now. But it, I think there's a lot more people interested in making stuff for it now. And it seems a pretty amazing piece of kit. Obviously, it's reliant on um, community to make cores and stuff for it. But it seems really good. Like, I think it's going to be a long time before you see, like, all the games in meme or whatever emulated on you, if that's ever going to happen. That's what it actually takes to make them. early oh David didn't want to drop out on it 
Like hopefully that'll, that'll create a chain reaction. Oh, that's gonna. That's a nice one. more drop in they would have would have had a pretty decent sized explosion yeah it's definitely going to be interesting to see how good the mister does get Cubert came on here yesterday as well. I've got that on you. Puzzle Fighter as well. Puzzle Fighter is quite cool. That'd be good, quite play, uh, good fun to play that as well. It's a silly game, but it's it's uh, it's pretty good fun. Loads of diamonds there, but I just couldn't do it. I'm 
そういったのねナイスモンドレッドOn the other side, actually, but all right, it's not all right. It's open up with that. Get a bigger one for a chain reaction. Oh, shit. I should be do a uh, diamond soon. Big chain reaction. Damn, pretty I can't put that in there. Ah, trap me. We're gonna do it. Some lucky drops. Um, I think we'll donate. I'll do what I got. for a little bit too long here. Yep. Oh, this might be lucky as hell. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. Oh, can I follow up fast enough? Got her. Take a piss out of Ryu from uh, Art of Fighting, that's where he came around. That's why he's wearing pink. Oh, Kuma. He's gonna be solid, isn't he?
can. The lab there, because it should hopefully, so those greens go away, should create a chain reaction. I think. Come on, give me a diamond. So I need, I need the diamond. Plans are, isn't it? <laughs> I can just get these blues to disappear. Yellow. God, he recovers from that pretty damn fast, isn't he? Would it be tricky? <laughs> turn. I don't think anyone's done a Tetris game for this yet. It's a Tetris arcade game. It's a bit weird actually, because Tetris is generally on everything. Plans up Yeah. 
I didn't put many on this side. and those ones are gonna go off. Um, okay. Oh, what am I gonna do here? Ah, got me again. We're gonna beat him. I can't say not giving this core a good goal then. Uh, That one. Go to the greens as well. And the blues. Nice. Now um. he's gonna go mad on me, probably. I get him sort of down a bit. He uh, does some really good combos. Right, some chain reaction is going to go on there. Out that uh, yellow didn't drop in. You got some big diamonds going there as well. That's gonna hurt. Um, That's 
gonna hurt once that goes. Yellow's gonna have to go in there. Green's gonna have to go there. I'm dead. Concentrate this green one. And that can go there, that's right. Lined up quite nicely with those massive ones at the bottom then. Can't hang around a massive beach if you do. Didn't work out particularly very good. <coughs> ah, damn, just missed the chain reaction. right at the end. You're gonna do it. You're gonna beat him. is looking rather rather nifty. Uh, he's 
got a rabbit. Good bottom lane now as well. And he's on his diamond. Every time I build a good bottom lane, he kicks my ass. Don't play fair. Blaming him now. Definitely proven to be quite difficult. One shit. Again, though, which means he's probably going to kick my ass again. Oh, great, I've got a huge gap. Oh, shit. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Um, a rising core. So do things like uh, bat rider and that. One sec. That's the start of the CPS call anyway, so it's looking rather promising, that's all I can say. Dun, 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 dun. 
And let's have a look what we're going to have. Uh, actually, if I go back, it's probably easier to go this way. Let's get a bit of new duo going. Let's get a bit of um, Cyberlip going again. Once my tally decides to uh, sink. Apparently, the 128... We'll have a look at this, actually. I haven't seen it yet. The only game on here... It's not even a game, actually. That uses the 128. Everything just needs 64, apparently. But is that... Is the Bad Apple demo. Ooh. It's a bit weird in the background, isn't it? What's all that about? Apparently, this, the Bad Apple demo needs it. So, we'll try it out. This was on the uh, Mega Drive as well. Giga Power Edition. Okay. MVS New Geo Board. Corrected Graphics Update. Yeah, it's garbage emulator. <laughs> Fair enough. This will be interesting because this is obviously meant to run on original. Uh, Original boards. Yeah, this is the only one that uses uh, 128. Sounds definitely upgraded over the Mag Drive version. This should wake you up. <laughs> yeah, I can also get this demo on the mag drive. Cool little tech demo. Everyone's perfect on you. Oh. Right. Cyber Lab. basically right see if I can get a bit further now Ready, go. still quite a tricky game to 1cc Can come down at different angles, then, guys. A terrible job of shooting him.
Tim. Like I'll kill him there yet. Yeah. You get them right, you always get get him at that spot. Right, up or down? Oh, that's the next level actually. It's a total guess as well. It does change. for buddy uh, jumping down and getting buddy kill by him though. I can't shoot them. Bit more too tricky to do that if you've got like the spread firing. Now the guess, up or down? I'm going to go for up. If you guess right, you get less levels. Ooh, that was a good guess. Oh, damn it, no one come out the door. Shit, I went up a little bit too early then. Come on. Look out below.
right. Need to. Get, I don't. Don't have to worry about getting the auto actually. Very lucky just then. This is my auto. Quite nice. Right, how about down again? Oh, I got a feeling to pick up again. Am I right? Oh yeah, I am. What if there's a pattern to that? Quail again. Yeah, that's my little fire out. Ah, oh, damn it, my foot. Hate this boss. It's luck whether he fires or not. Yep, he fired. Ah, oh, you bastard. I think that one's the hardest boss in the game. That's by far the hardest boss in the game. Let's roll. It'll be too easy going up again. Ready, go! I tried to jump off then.
Right then. Ready, go! No, we get thawed. Now I'm starting to know exactly where the right position is to be on them. Not forward normally, but... Maybe staying back is the is the right option. Look up below. Look up below. Look up below. Look up below. I'm not going to continue. I'm going to go something else. Getting better at it, but um, still need more practice. Uh, sure luck. I think Clad is one of those games I always fancy getting into, but I don't, I don't like it that much. It was Ghost Pilots. Ghost Pilots is it's quite nice, but it's, it's hard as hell. Yeah, let's have a go there. It's quite tricky. I'm not sure which bomb is best, to be honest. I remember having this. I bought this from AES back when it came out, and I didn't have it long. It's a long game as well, from what I remember. I doubt we missed a power up here. Where auto fire comes in handy. Unfortunately, I haven't got it on this pad. Love that. Do, 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 do. We've seen there's um, a new Twin Orc arcade game coming out. It's not Twin Orc, but it's a guy who's made a new arcade board. And um, it's pretty much uh, Twin Orc. I can't remember, can't remember what it's called, though. But it looks really good. 
not sure if the Kickstarter has gone from it, but um, it is going to come on a jammer board as well. I'm pretty sure it's about two, three hundred quid. I think it's called like Twin Tigers. Now oh, I'm being caught by everything on screen. I think the idea in this game is not to try and kill everything. Know when it's worth going across the screen and when it isn't. Yeah, I think it's Twin Tigers, I think it's called. It does actually look pretty nice. Ah, they fired. We got to the boss. Start from the beginning again. Uh, no, nope, don't save that. Try that bomb. Maybe be worth you, Dean, having a look at that, that Twin Tigers. At least I think that's what it's called. It's quite interesting, somebody's doing the Kickstarter for an actual jammer board. Quite interesting. Good burst lag, didn't it? Really good. Proud of myself. Your bombs. Oh, shit. survived it. One way often see a decent amount of power in this game. <laughs> it's not with the standard weapon. bomb does act a bit weird. Damn. Um. 
I think I prefer the bomb. Oh, damn right. It's definitely very deceptive to see uh, Challenger in this game. Is. It's hard as hell, eh? I've only ever beaten it by uh, continuing shitloads. <laughs> I think the trick is, is trying not to kill everything on screen, like stick to a side. I think when you try to take everything out in this, uh, on the screen, you end up dying on this game. Damn, they twisted round. Ooh. Oh, damn, he twisted. Yeah, it's a, it's a really difficult game, is. I was very lucky, yeah. Huh? On that power up. Give me the power up. For that. Oh my god, blue planes. Go again. Squeaky bum time, man. I bombed as well. A bomb is not that great. Yeah, I remember this being really hard later on as well. So I, I did buy it for my AES when uh, when it first came out, and uh, I remember not having it very long. Uh, go that way. Try that way, man. This looks quite cool. Don't have it enough. It's not fast enough for you to cover the entire screen. Oh bugger! Quite a few power ups flying around, I can't get any of them. Nice.
The stars just like medals. Oh, bugger. I thought I was going to die, eh? Come on. Oh, great. Tanks are going to snipe me from the sides. Bloody hard to get a power up sometimes as well, mate. That was lucky. Shit. Ah, they got me. I think. Oh, he's going to land. I think it's probably the best I've ever done in this game. <laughs> I'm not going to go for that other tank. bombs. Off over the sides a bit safer. Oh, sniped. It is an average game. It's, it's not. It's not a brilliant shot by any any means, to be honest. <laughs> it's alright for a blast every now and then, but it it is uh, it is pretty hard. Right, what's the time? Uh, maybe we'll give it one more go. I can stick with that bomb, I think. It's very long-winded as well. If I remember rightly, this game's long as well. See, SNK did make a couple of uh, pretty decent shoot maps before this. They made some pretty good ones. Well, I can't remember the bloody names of them now. You go back and forth in time on them. 
they like biplanes and stuff, but um, it's all you've got different sub weapons and stuff on them. It's better than this. They made two of them, they did. Obviously, Priest Dark Isle as well, which is uh, fantastic. I love again. Could have done with some sort of sub weapon, couldn't they? They they were obviously trying to jump on the success of um, Twin Hawk, weren't they? And same, same, same. Like I say it's not a bad game, but you're right, yeah, it's it's very average. I'd say it's shooting ups on the Neo Geo, this probably is the worst one. Give a Neo Geo that it didn't have many shoot maps, but uh, what it did add, you know, quite a few of them were pretty damn good. Like, I love Free Star Gale too. Hull Star, Blazing Star, fantastic. Last Resort, also good. The of the um. Here to fight these games. Also good. And uh, Strikers, which is also good as well. <laughs> I'd say it didn't have that many shmups, but it did have some good ones. Oh, I thought I was going to die in. It's bomb me to get it over. With. Yeah, probably the worst. Probably the next one comes. Just after this, maybe Andre Dunos, which is not a bad game actually, Andre Dunos, but you got Alpha Mission 2, which is quite an impressive game. I like that as well, it's really good. That's an odd one to one credit as well. It's a nice graphics in that game, I should play that game again. It was the first game I had for my Neo Geo though. Nightmare in this game, you've got to be really quick on the power ups. Because they don't come in in any sort of pattern half the time. They're quite easy to miss them. Have a shoot much around the Neo Geo. Got that uh, Mr. Tomaday, which I don't particularly like very much, to be honest. I don't know what I would consider the best shooting up with the Neo Geo. A lot of people say Blazing Star, which is very good as well. I see certain things don't take. Oh. Um. 
Oh, no. Mistake. Oh. oh, come on, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Dead. Yeah, I like Alpha Mission. I think it's a really good game. In fact, let's have a go over. Nah, I'm not, I'm not in. I've tried. I've tried playing Captain Tomedy, and I, I, I don't know. I can't get into it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the the cheap graphics or something. I don't. I don't know what it is. But I've never really got into it. Like <sighs> the Aero Fighters games are wicked. I know a lot of people do like Captain Tomedy, but. Yeah, not one of them. <laughs> do do. Right. Oh, Rick, it's my last game. I think. Tricky game, this is, but it is good. But good music as well. Now it's collected way too much speeds. Way faster than I want to be. <laughs> Some nice graphics in this game as well. I can't remember. I can't remember how much it cost me when I bought it, but you know, it wasn't cheap. Oops. Hey, this game does have some really nice detailed graphics and good sound. I don't know why he gets bad press. Stay in front of them guys. I should try and get back into this. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I'd probably go with that as well. Polestar is really good. Yeah, the Neo Geo CD copy is pretty much the same anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite. It's, it's gone up a little bit on the Ascendant CD as well, haven't it? I like I said, I do. I like the way you shoot the ship and it crashes down onto the moon. I'd say it's got a pretty cool soundtrack to this game as well. Like really deep and sort of thundering. Yeah, I got the um, Aero Fighters on CD. It's the only shoot maps I have got on CD. They've gone up quite a bit in price lately as well. Take this thing apart, I'm gonna basically bit by bit we will get it. Yeah, I used to have it on New Juice CD a, a long time ago when I'm a New Juice CD. But see, it, it is a single load, is it? That's cool. That's cool. I seen it the other day, I was tempted to pick it up. I don't feel some power up spear. to know exactly where to go or where you have to kill him is. Need to kill them. Especially before my shield runs out.
You can blow them up as well. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> Literally just haven't got enough firepower to kill him. Oh yeah, I knew Geo CD was definitely a budget option. It's like back in the day, I got rid of my AES after a while because obviously it was really expensive to buy games for it. And I ended up swapping it for a Neo Geo CD. Which, you know... You think about it, it may, it may have been a terrible way of doing it, but it did allow me to play a hell of a lot more Neo Geo games back then, you know, back when they first came out. So I got no regrets. Like, I got, I got to play a lot, pretty much all the fighting games and everything, and all the other stuff, which I would never have done actually on uh, AES because of the price of it. But yeah, they they not as cheap as they are now. I noticed the prices are going up quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fighting games are like that. So I got a, a new Juice CDZ, so when it comes to loading, it's not too bad. It is a lot faster. Speed again. It is a nice game, it says. Just and Lords another one as well, isn't it? That used to be quite a reasonably cheap CD game, but now even that's gone up quite a bit in price. Even that's getting really expensive on CD. Laser down. Uh, maybe I should have picked up the shield one. Oh well. Ones are a pain in the ass. Um. I don't know what to use that then. Ah. Uh. quite a bit then.
cannot remember what this guy does. Missiles are a little bit hard to dodge. Yeah, I think Neo Geo in general these days is expensive, and you know AES is just crazy, and um, well, it's literally crazy any other prices. And CD is starting to get that way. Obviously, no, nowhere near as bad, but there are some CD games that you know are that people asking hundreds and hundreds for. In a lot of ways, collecting retro these days is it's, it's not that good idea, really, is it? I've never played the original of this a couple of times. Played on the uh, NES a few times. I think it's the NES as well. Now I've got it a few times then. A couple of the laser ones then. Oh, it's a bit funny. Go for the laser and the thunder one turns up. Continue anymore because uh, time to go, I think. <laughs> yeah, some of the fighting games are the cheapest ones, and they to own at the moment. Not all of them, mind some of them are stupidly expensive, but things like um, some of the early samurai games and some of the Fatal Fury games are reasonably quite cheap, aren't they? Even the MVS stuff is getting more expensive. I got about 15 MVS cartridges, I think. <laughs> Nothing like too crazy price wise, like, but um, I got Magician Lord, which uh, has gone up quite a bit lately. But I think the AES version of that is, is bordering on silly prices. Yeah, I got a couple of fighting games. I got um, World Heroes 2. I got World Heroes. I don't know, I got World Heroes 2. Definitely got um, Fatal Fury 2 Special as well. Fatal Fury Real Bout. Um, what else I got? Not sure what else I got fighting game wise. Cart on cartridge, anyway. Well, that was fun tonight. Right, 
cheers for joining everyone. Um, cheers for hanging around. Uh, so gotta go. Hope you have a good week. And uh, cheers for the chat as well. It's been fun. And I shall probably catch you all next week. Um, I've got it in a case. It's a 3D printed case, so this it's literally all, all sort of um, exposed. Anyway, not exposed, sorry. All sort of um, on the inside. So it's quite nice. Not bad 3D printed case, actually. Quite good. It stacks up on top of each other, so it's about, uh, I don't know, two and a half inches high, maybe. Something like that. So it, it covers the three boards, basically. USB in the bottom, the main board, and the uh, top. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. Yep, definitely been putting the Mr. through his paces, and um, I'm quite impressed with it. Seems a really wicked piece of kit, I've got to admit. Not that I'm going to get rid of emulation as well, mind, because uh, emulation is also rather good, but. You no, know, if you can play games on the Mr., it's the way to do it, I think. But obviously, the Mr.'s got a long way to go to catch up with uh, what emulation does, especially with like what Mabe does, you know what I mean? It'd probably take years for the mister to catch up with that. It, pro it probably never will, like. But, um, yeah, for what it is, excellent piece of kit. Yeah, I think putting it in the case is the way to go. There's some cheap cases. I was looking at cases. You've got quite a few options now, haven't you? But if you say, if you know somebody with a 3D printer, you can just get them to print you a case. I shall see you next time as well. Right, dry guys, hope you have a good week. And uh, I shall see you soon. Ta-da!